Now, do you fancy becoming Cambridgeshire's next big detective? Well, our county's police force could be about to make your dream come true. Cambridgeshire Police have placed adverts for a couple of jobs that it wants members of the public to fill. The first job is for a volunteer detective to find stolen property, whilst the second role is to wash its patrol cars at Cambridge Police Station. Seriously, though, is this the future? Is this, as budgets continue to be stretched, is this the future? Uh, should we do more to patrol our own communities? Are you helping? Have you helped the police? Is this Cameron's big society in action here? Citizens on patrol. Should there be a people of Peterborough police force or a Cambridge residence constabulary? Uh, well, Richard Taylor is a political blogger from Cambridge and um, has put this story online. And, uh, you, well, many, many people have commented already, Richard. Morning. Uh, good morning, Paul. Um, so, uh, citizens on patrol. We're all doing our bit, Richard. What a good thing that is. Big well, society. Well, volunteers have been a, a, a core part of policing for as long as we've had a police force in this country with the um, special constabulary the special constabulary are, are volunteers and they've got the um, full powers of um, a police constable and um, recently one of the things our Police and Crime Commissioner here in Cambridge has done is try to increase the number of um, special constables and um, he's aiming to get to, um, up to um, a couple of hundred um, special constables in the area. So volunteers are um, as a core of our policing already. Um, but I was quite surprised when I saw some of these um, jobs that um, or roles that have been um, publicised by, um, by, by Cambridge Police, particularly this one, um, essentially the burglary detective. The Lovejoy slash Poirot detective. Yeah, well, that, was, that was the kind of thing which, um, which I expected... Um, a professional, experienced um, detective would be doing, going round to antique shops or um, um, searching for... Or, and maybe stolen bikes at um, uh, at some of the shops that, 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 that sell second-hand bikes in, in Cambridge. It, it, it didn't strike me as the kind of thing which um, which would be be, be suited to um, a volunteer. But I think volunteering is. Is excellent. We've got volunteers doing all sorts of things in um, Cambridgeshire Police. We've got people looking at CCTV in Ely. We've got um, people monitoring um, AMPR. Um, so, so we've got um, the Speedwatch volunteers and um, the people who um, who um, use speed guns and, and um, prompt people to be sent warning letters. So we've got all sorts of volunteers, but mm. we shouldn't be re replacing established jobs, I don't think. And we, we shouldn't be asking people to um, to do jobs which should otherwise be done by police staff or otherwise be done by by, by detectives. So, so we, that's your beef here, basically. I mean, you think this volunteer is replacing what, what should be traditional detective work? Well, that's where I think we should, um, we should draw a line. We, and we certainly shouldn't be um, responding to um, um, cuts in funding to, to police by um, replacing the um, established employed um, people, employed officers and employed staff um, with volunteers. But I think volunteers in um, policing and elsewhere in the public service are actually a great thing. Like, I think one of the, the problems we've got with policing is um, when people join the police, it's a bit like they, they feel they've um, joined a gang, they've joined a clique. And I think we've actually been seeing a, a bit of a change in um, the attitude of um, policing over the last few years. As the police do more talking to the public and, and, and meet the public more, we've actually, I think, seen that, um, that, that, that attitude from the police that, um, that they're separate from the public and in some ways they're, they're kind of the public are the enemy and they're working against the public. I think we've seen that change and if we could get more volunteers into into policing and, and properly integrate them like i don't think sort of getting someone in for a couple of hours a week to wash the cars at cambridge police station really um is um sort of fully integrating i think we've had some problems with um um, special constables around, in Cambridgeshire and around the, the, the country in the way that they're treated by um, regular officers. But if we can properly um, integrate some people into um, into the force, for example, getting people to um, patrol their own villages as special constables and have a, a good relationship with the police, then I think we, we could we could change the, the nature of policing and, and, and actually sort of bring the public into it and, and break down that divide. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, and, and, and more and more as the cuts bite. Are, are we as a community going to have to do more, do you think? Well, I, I, I don't know whether that in Cambridgeshire we have actually kept... Uh, um, We've kept up um, police constable numbers, even though, of course, the, the county is growing. We're getting more people in the county, so that's not quite as good as it, it first sounds. But, but it, it's not been um, 
been, been um, so bad here. But I think actually if we can um, do the extra, so things like um, a special constable patrolling their own village, that's something that, that perhaps you wouldn't do if you're, or, or the police say that they can't do it when they're focusing on um, re- reducing harm and um, so, so, so they won't put the resources into to just people on patrol because that's actually a very expensive way to give people a reassurance that that area is being policed. But if someone can do it as a volunteer, then um, then they can um, do something positive for their local community. But I think it's important that we don't just get um, retired police officers and ex-military people and the kind of people who are um, sort of already in the, in the police force in those roles. Like I know um, that one of the challenges is, is when there's lots of people volunteer to do something within the police but if you're going to be giving someone um, huge powers as a special constable or in the case of this role in Cambridgeshire giving them access to um, police databases and um, and the AMPR role as well giving people access to um, databases containing quite sensitive information you've got to pick the right people but we've got to be we, we, I think we should, we, the police should look a bit broader than just their own ex-officers and, and ex-military people and, and really try and, um, and bring in people from um, throughout the community so we can get back to this idea that um, actually th- well, we are a, essentially a, a self-policing nation and we can all get involved in, in policing. And, and that might start... We, we've got to challenge and, and tackle some of the, the things that make people... Um, feel there is a divide yeah. um, and, and the police are working against them things like um like tackling motorists who are then um, speeding just uh, um, a little bit over over the speed limit and, and tackling people for anti-social behavior like, i think if, if the police were focused on serious crimes things that cause injury and um, things that really cause upset like burglary then you'd have massive support for policing and if we could bring people in then i think we we, we would all work together to um, to tackle the things that, that really causes problems in Cambridgeshire. Richard, thank you. Richard Taylor, a political blogger from Cambridge who's had much to say already on uh, a story that's gone viral, actually. It's uh, it's all across the internet. Uh, Cambridgeshire Police advertising for a volunteer detective to find stolen property, another to wash patrol cards at Cambridge Police Station. Good thing, bad thing. Uh, could we all do a bit more to help the police in these difficult times? Or, uh, as Richard was saying, do we have to draw a line somewhere, uh, particularly when it comes to having people out and about doing detective work? Uh, would you fancy going along to Cambridge Police Station and washing the cars. Uh, Dave Harding says surely that should be a community service punishment, not voluntary says David this morning and Margaret uh, has been on as well. She says it's time our police forces were given more funding Paul, to compensate for the constantly increasing population I'm sure Cameron is trying harder and harder to run us completely into the ground by sending more money overseas and spending on our essential services we pay for the police force Paul our council tax, where the heck is all this money going, says Margaret this morning. So have you helped? Are you doing your bit for Cambridgeshire Police already? Perhaps you're volunteering. Perhaps you feel you could do your bit. Uh, let us know this morning. Uh, Mark says, how about this for helping them? I was videoing teenagers causing damage in the street and I was accused by a PCSO of being a paedophile. I've reported a local van sales business for untaxed vehicles on our local streets. The owner assaulted me and my daughter for doing this reporting. The police came out and did nothing. Tell me why I should help them. My house, my phones, my family are now all flagged. They're not worthy of help, says Mark this morning.